Hi there, I'm Susanna. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to show you this pretty super easy granny bucket hat using your stash cotton yarn or whatever on your hand. And if you wear it like this or deeply or shallowly or you can fold the brim, it is still so cute, isn't it? And it's so pretty and easy and quick project so I hope you enjoy and love it and if you are even beginners it is very good idea to start crochet Okay, let's get started. This is my prototype using uh, autumn winter yarn and the size is the same as I'm going to use. That is the sport weight yarn and uh, actually this is six using six colors and color ordered by you know one by one and repeated uh, three times and more and uh, this is this is the shape from the uh, I'm going to start from the top crown and the bottom down and uh, this is so quick and easy project I I think it is a good idea to give somebody as a gift so if you are totally beginners please don't worry I'm going to show you how to choose the yarn and how to crochet and if once you get uh, once you understand it you can you can enjoy it as many times as you want so you can enjoy summer yarn and winter yarn as, as well okay let's talk about the tools today I'm going to use a crochet shed hook size is 4.0 millimeter that is USG 6 and um, but you can choose or uh, any size of hooks and to obtain the gauge or obtain the size you want to make and also you need a darning needle and a pair of scissors very sharp scissors are useful and also a tape measure a measuring tape is very useful to check how many meters you have so please prepare measuring tape we if you don't have it just it's okay but if you have it please use it and if you have a kitchen scale it is very good idea to check the weight okay so let's talk about the yarn and this is the today's yarn and I gathered any summer yarn and uh, I, I don't use any winter yarn so this kind of yarn is a little bit fluffy as you can see that that is for autumn and winter so I'm don't use this on this project and uh, this kind of very fine yarn or thread is very useful to add on the yarn which doesn't have have enough thickness so I'm going to use this kind of a very fine thread to give some you know some weight or thickness and uh, one type of yarn is not suitable on this project that is sequins 
So this kind of sequin yarn it will catch your hair. So I I don't recommend this type of yarn. And also the thickness. Look at the thickness. It is quite thick and quite heavy weight. So uh, that is uh, suitable for five or five point five millimeter hooks. So I'm going to or uh, I, I don't use that. That's this kind of thickness yarn. So today I'm gonna use quite thin or you know narrow yarn. And also, as you can see, I have some colors or you know leftover yarn. So. If you ha want to buy some yarn, please check the needle size. So the gauge is or uh, the recommended hook size is three to four millimeter is suitable. And look at this one. This one is four and half. Four is two point five, and five is three point zero. So I I'm worried about it. It it might be a little bit too thin to use it. I'm going to check it later. Actually, I could use it, but uh, compare the thickness, it is a little bit thin. And this is the less, less thread. The less thread is uh, quite thin, but you can use two strands together. This is 20 grams and 80 meters. So, as you can see, uh, uh, lots of lots of size variations. So, I'm going to introduce another way to check the thickness easily. It's so easy way to check the thickness. So please watch this video until that time. Okay. So this kind of thin yarn is uh, adding using as a adding yarn. So compare this purple and white yarn. The thickness is very different. Purple is slimmer than white. So even the same category, the yarn change the thickness or that the yarn yarns are differ their thicknesses. So, but we are going to use all kinds of yarn. All right, first let's uh, analyze the color, and let's uh, separate and categorize the, by the color. So look at this felt mark pa marker pen these are the rainbow color and neutral colors so look at these color chart just you know divide by colors sort colors in blue and sort green next so where these are the greens as you can see and the next is light green and this is also green categorized green and next is yellow and next is orange so these are the quite similar to orange and pink and this is pink and red uh, this is also purple okay these are the rainbow colors and the next is neutral colors neutral colors is brown gray black and white so they are the colors okay so as you can see i have all kinds of colors on my hands and all kinds of lengths you know some are very short and some are new Okay, and if you don't know how to choose the colors, you can just repeat the colors as you see on these rainbow colors or neutral colors. I'm going to show you the sample once again. I use six colors and repeat it three times and more. Here is the table of the cheating sheet for me and for you as well. There are so many numbers on the paper and are categorized by colors. And green is the metase and the red is glams. So as you can see, M and Z at the bottom of the tables.
And the first round, I'm going to use 1.2 meters. This is the meat age, and this is gram. So these red colors are all grams, and greens are meat age. And also, you see the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 2, 22 by in black colors. Uh, this is the uh, uh, round number. So, in total, this granny bucket hat has 22 rounds in total. So, this has 6 colors and 3 times and 18 and 4 more colors. So, that is 22 colors. And so, this is the cheating sheet for you and me. And in total, I used up 39 grams and 156 meters. But if you buy or if you gather yarns, I think you need uh, at least 50 grams and around 200 meters. The meters is enough, but grams depends on the uh, materials. And I'm going to use 4.0 millimeter hook for 54 to 56 head circumferences. And I'm gonna use two strands together if I use lace thread like this. And if your head circular for lace smaller than that, please or oh, use the smaller hook. And if your head circular for lace is uh, larger than that, use the larger hook. And also using the measuring tape and check the mateage. So let's first use the shortest yarn and I'm gonna use a tiny tiny small yarn ball balls first. Oh this is also small and uh, this yellow is the same yellow as this so I'm going to use together and this is also small and this green has a little bit but has two so I'm going to separate from here. All right. Anyway. Anyway, anyway. I have a few yarns and let's choose. The choose the smaller one, smallest one. This I think this is the shortest and I'm going to check the length. So I need 1.2 meters. Okay, and level and check the length so glove the measuring tape and check the length oops tangled oh tangled tangled okay let's check how many let's check once again 40 50 60 70 80 90 to 100 110 oh tangled oops well, okay, so 110 and 120 and more. Okay, it's enough. So I decided to use this yarn first. Okay, but to check the thickness. So this yarn is a little bit slimmer than I expected. So I need a additional thread or yarn to adjust the thickness. And if I use with the beige, the pink will disappear. And if I use will with the white and glitter, that's okay. But this glitter thread is so sh uh, small. So I'm going to keep it for the later use. All right. This color is close to this pink, so I think this is good to use. Is that the same? Is that good thickness or not? Let me see. Well, yeah, I think it seems okay. Oh, one more thing. Please do not use the black colors with su such a pastel or pale pink together because the pink will disappear. So when you when you pick the bright color and if you use this kind of red together, it's also 
the color will be disappeared. So I'm gonna use the same、uh, category yarn. Color is same category. All right, let's crochet the first round. Leave four inches or ten centimeters and make a slip knot and count as a one chain. The one chain stitch as this knot and two, three, four chains. Back to the first chain, it means the slip knot. And insert yarn over, pull through all loops, and make a ring. All right, so I made four chain stitches and make a ring. I made a ring, and I'm gonna use this ring. And first, make three chain stitches, count as a double, yarn over, insert into the ring here. You see the ring and yarn over, pull up a loop and yarn over, pull through first two loops, then yarn over, pull through the remaining two loops, and let's make a double crochet. Okay, after making two double crochet, make a make one chain stitch, yarn over, insert into the ring, and make two double crochets. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through first two loops, yarn over, pull through next two loops, yarn over, and insert into the ring, yarn over, pull through, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over, pull through two loops again, and make one chain stitch. And repeat six times in total. So I made two, so I need four more. And if you would like to use the same crochet hook as mine, let's、uh, please check the description box down below. I'm going to leave the link. Okay, so this is the three. So one, two, three, and next make two double crochets. And a chain stitch, two double crochets, and a chain stitch, and one, two, three, four, five, one more. Okay, this is the last two double crochets. And a chain stitch. So I have a little bit left, so it's good. It's very good. I could do it. Okay, insert into the third chain, count as the root of the ring. So here, second. So just peel off the yarn, and so you see the first chain stitch. Second, and this is the third chain stitch. Insert yarn over, pull through, and pull through. At the time, pull it towards you so that the last loop with will will be closed, and giving one more chain stitch. After that, fasten off the yarn. Okay, this is the first round. Once again, I made two double crochets and a chain stitch six times. Let's count: one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Well, let's move on to the second round. And the second round needs two point four meters yarn. And I'm going to find out which yarn is good to use. There are three 
yarns, and blue was a little bit short, so I needed to choose from teal green or yellow. And I chose the teal green because green is the in the contrast color of the pink. Yellow is cr too close. And there is the yarn end and using the opposite direction and in the opposite side. So use this chain one space or this. So use the opposite side starting from the opposite side because we have a lot of yarn ends after that first wrap like this and yarn no bind twist oops flame out all right and then pick the shorter end and pull through this is my favorite favorite way to make a chain because this is adjustable later. All right. Glove the longer side and starting from the opposite side and in the chain one space. Yarn over, insert into any chain one space and make two double crochets. This is the first double crochet. and into the same space and make the next double crochet all right then i forgot chain once uh one chain stitch but please do not forget and move to the next chain one space make two double crochets again one and two and chain stitch back to the same space make two double crochets once again and a chain stitch so i made one two three four double crochets and two chain one spaces let's repeat two double crochets and the chain two double crochets and the chain stitch okay i made two and a half times okay next there is the yarn end and i'd like to to wrap around by in the stitches so weave in the stitches so glove the yarn end with the with your dominant hand and make two double crochets again and the chain and back to the same space and two double crochets and a chain let's repeat Okay, lastly, we are missing two more double crochet and chain one. So back to the starting chain one space, filling or oh, missing two double crochets and a chain stitch. Then 
let's join. All right, and giving additional chain and pull through all yarn and. Okay, so this is the second round. And if we, if you think it is too long to carry, just fasten off approximately six inches or fifteen centimeters. But I'm going to leave it as is. Okay, let's move on to the third round. The third round needs three point five meters. And the third round, I have three colors. And I needed to choose. The first one is pink, and this is a kind of red group. And this is purple. Purple is mixed with red and blue, so I'm going to remove from the list. And the next is teal green. The teal green is blue and green, so this is a kind of green. That's why I'm going to remove from the list. So, the remaining color is on yellow. And I'm going to use this color, but this yarn is also a little bit slim and a little bit thin to use. And as I mentioned, if I use with black, the black is too, you know, too strong. So it is difficult to use with the other colors, and that is that is a point. And uh, black. If I use with this yarn, I'm going to use that black thread. And uh, so, what should I do? What should I do? <laughs> okay, let me think about it. All right. Uh, that black was too strong, so I'm going to use this light beige with glitter. And the glitter is a kind of effect, so I'm going to mix with this. Okay, all right. So let's crochet the third round, making a slip knot, and yarn over and start into any space, but avoid joining point. So where should I start? This is the the uh, two rounds below. So I'm going to use in between these two ends. So I'm going to start from this chain one space and make three double crochets. One. Two. Three. And a chain. Okay, move it to the next space. Here, and the, there is a chain one space again, and I'm going to make three double crochet stitches. One, two, and three. Okay. And a chain one and a chain stitch and here there are two yarn ends like this. One is to the right and one is to the left. Alright. So I grab the one yarn end like this. And into the next space and let's crochet three double crochet stitches one two and three times please do not forget a chain stitch and into the next space so let's repeat three double crochet stitches in all chain one spaces so in this case we are going to make a 12 three double crochet groups ok 
Okay? Alright, let's repeat. See you at the end of this round. Okay, next round is fourth round. It needs 4.7 millimeters. It means 5 meter. And I check this uh, this khaki green. Uh, you can see five strands here. So it means I have uh, 5 meters. So I can use it. Alright. Also, this thread uh, yarn is uh, slightly slimmer than that this teal green, and teal green was so easy to crochet for me, so I needed to match up the thickness to that thickness. And uh, I'm going to show you the easiest way to find out the thickness easily is using your you know, ruler. I'm I'm using the centimeter ruler and I'm going to wrap around one centimeter. So in this case, the three, four, five, six, and seven. And okay, let's make it you know nice and tight and neat. Okay, I need one more. So in this case, oh uh, this yarn needs eight wraps per centimeter. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. As you can see that. And so next, let's check this teal green. Ooh, okay, this way. I hope it will remain until one centimeter. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Maybe six. Yeah. Six all laps per centimeter so it means two laps difference it is quite big difference and the teal green is slightly thicker than i expected so i think seven laps are the good size to make use and now i have eight so i need to reduce to seven so i'm gonna use all the adjusting thread to fill up the th thickness to use on this project so the khaki green is quite dark color so i think this black color will work very well so i'm going to use these two strands together all right so let's start the round four is increasing round and i'm going to make a uh, two double crochets and chain one into any space Okay, and chain one. All right, move it to the next space. Make two double crochets again. And a chain. Back to the same space. Make two more double crochets one and two and a chain so let's repeat two doubles and a chain and two doubles and a chain so which means four double crochets in a space and two chain one spaces and sometimes I forget to wrap the yarn end in the stitches. So pick the yarn end and make two more double crochets. One and Two. Okay, and chain one. Oops. Oh, tangled. <laughs> so tangled today. I so many times tangling. Okay, so let's repeat. And oops, this thread is so catchy. Okay. So let's repeat two double crochet stitches and the chain stitch two times in one space 
So, I mean,、uh, I'm going to make 24 double crochets and 24 chain one spaces, which means I increased from 12 to 24 groups. So, take your time slowly and nice and neat. Okay, let's repeat to the end. And as the round two, we are missing two more double crochets in the starting space, so I'm going to finish with two double crochets. And a chain. Insert. Here. Okay. And pull through loops. All right. And make an additional chain and fasten off. And then next round, I'd like to use the red color. And I'm still thinking using red or purple. And I'm, I'm considering、uh, this red is too slim to use alone. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And how about this one? Well, it is too, so difficult、uh, to, to decide the colors, you know, every time. So, if you, have an, if, you have, if you have no idea about the next round, just close your eyes and grab any yarn to use next. And that is, the, that is my secret route. And I never complain about that because I know the、uh, result will be wonderful. So, actually, any color will work very good. but You know, I want to struggle with, you know, the, the more the more I try, I believe the more I try, the more the result will be, you know, the better the result will be. I don't know if it is true or not, but next is, <laughs> anyway, next is seven meters. So I'm going to check eight meters first and I'm going to check two strands together will work or not. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to try two strands together. And you can start in any space because、uh, we are going to make three double crochets in every space. Okay. It's so simple. You know, after increasing, just make three double crochets in every space. This is the new rule to make the crochet, a、uh, granny crochet hard. Actually, I like to calculate, but sometimes I don't calculate. I don't like calculate. So, this kind of easy project, I use the easiest way. So, I'm going to make three double crochets in every,、uh, every space. Well, it seems too thick and bulky, isn't it? So let's compare the prototype. Oh, this double crochet is quite, quite large. So I need to stop to use two strands together. Okay, okay, I changed my mind. I wanted to use red first, but I, I'd like to repeat bright color, dark color, bright color, and dark color. So next. It should be the bright color. So, but I still thinking, I'm still thinking beige or white or red. Well, well, well. Yeah, I'm going, I, I really want to use this red, but I'm still thinking. Okay, next, I'm going to use this white color.
because I don't want to make the top crown is very heavy. The color has the weight, I believe. It is not actual weight, just the eye, eyesight weight. So when you see the color, some colors too, too heavy and some color is too, you know, too, too, too light or doesn't speak any to me. So, in this case, red is too heavy. That's why I'm going to use white for the interval, as the interval effect. So, I'm going to make a white color and start with three double crochets. Oh, today I'm so talkative. I hope you don't get bored or tired okay into the next chain one space make three double crochets again this project is very easy and simple so i believe you master very quickly after a few hats so the here also three doubles because i'm going to make 24 three doubles Chain one, one, two, three, and chain one. Okay, let's repeat. Okay, then the round six is the round of red. All right, and also round six is the end of top crown. I'm going to repeat three double crochets in every space. And after that, we just repeat three double crochets in every space. So no more increasing for a while. Okay, so let's start in any space and make three double crochets. I'm going to try single strand. Oh, yeah. It is a little bit, you know, right, but it's okay. I can use it. So I'm going to try the single strand and move to the next space and three doubles. And chain one. And next space. So, just repeat three double crochets in every space. It's so simple and easy, isn't it? Okay, let's see you after the ending of this round. Okay, after six rounds, this is the end of the top crown. Let's check the diameter. And the diameter is 16 centimeters, which is approximately, uh, how many? Six and a quarter or half and it is 50 centimeters it is approximately 20 inches and divide into 0 0.9 it should be 56 it is the good size for the hat this hat is for 54 to 56 centimeters and after six rounds we just repeat the same thing so now this is the sixth round and the sixth round and just repeat the same thing until the 14th so we are going to repeat eight rounds more three double crochets and uh, 24 times and until 14th round so now I finish 6, so 7, 8, 9, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I need eight more rounds, the same length of the arm. And the way is the same, so I'm going to skip this procedure. But uh, this is the seventh round, and I'm going, I'm, you know, mm -mm, which is better, blue or black. I'm going to use this black, and this is a less thread, so I'm going to check the thickness. This is the two strands seems a little bit thinner so let me try three strands together oh looks better okay let's check the thickness with the ruler now I found out there is just five laps and the five laps is 15 loops and divided into two is 7.5 so the, I need seven so the two strands is enough to use so I'm going to crochet with two strands together and just making three double crochets in one space and repeat with oh uh, and chain one space so after three double crochets three doubles like this and a chain and move to the next space and repeat three double crochets I'm going to speed up because I think I uh, you understand what sh you should do okay finish the seventh round I found that this white red blue has a very good combination i want to make something in these color orders okay next i'm gonna use our oh, salmon pink next i'm gonna use beige and next i'm gonna use black Finish 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and next is the 15th. The 15th we need to increase, and then we need 8 meters yarn, a little bit slightly longer, and then 9, 9, 9. So we repeat 3 rounds. Uh, after increasing, repeat 3 rounds. So let's increase. Look at this prototype in the pistachio green section. You see the two and a chain one and two, which means this is the sign of increasing. This is shapes like V, you see? And there are one, two, three, three double crochet stitches groups. So increase three and increase three. Anyway, let's start with two double crochets. One and two and a chain. Move to this next space. Make three double crochets. One, two, three and a chain repeat two more times so we have 24 three double crochets at the 14th round and we are going to make increase every fourth space so which means we need to increase six times you see So increase and three doubles six times is 24 spaces. Okay, let's increase. Make two double crochets and a chain. Uh, 
and back to the same space and repeat two double crochets and a chain. Okay, then what we should do? We just make three double crochets three times. One, two, three double crochets and a chain. Move to the next space. Okay, let's weave yarn and together. One, two, three, and a chain. Move to the next space. Three double crochets and a chain. Okay. Now it's time to increase because we have three times of three double crochets. So let's increase here. Oh, I forgot to wrap the yarn end together. So let me do it again. One, two, three and a chain next space two and a chain and back to the same space two and a chain okay repeat like that Now I came back to the starting position and I'm after three double crochets three times I needed to make increase right and missing two double crochets at the beginning so I'm filling two double crochets and instead of making a chain one space I'm just slip stitch to join and one more chain I found it works well. I'm sorry, I couldn't I couldn't tell you at first because I I found during the way of crocheting. So I I apologize about that. Okay. The next is round 16 and 16, 17, 18s are the same. And as usual, after increasing making three double crochets in every space so make a slip knot and three double crochets one two three and chain one and here one two three and a chain and one two three and a chain and next just repeat that so simple and easy steps and 16 17 18s are the same and i i finish 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 increase 16 17 18 and now 19 is increasing again look at here i increase and i increase here and there are one two three groups of three doubles and next between increasing we are going to make four groups of three double crochets 
and this is the center and I'd like to make increasing point in between these increasing point of the previous increasing so there are luckily there are three double crochets so I'm going to you start from here to increase And next, I'm going to use the black thread. I'm making darker and darker. I don't know I can make dark or not, but uh, I'm enjoying mixing colors. Okay, so here is increasing and here is increasing. There are one, two, three groups. So starting from the center one. Okay, here is the same position. All right, so let's make two double crochets and a chain. And move it to the next space. From here, making four groups of three double crochet stitches and a chain stitch. One, two, three double crochet stitches and a chain stitch repeat oh, three more times one two three and a chain next one two, three, and a chain. I made one, two, three, so one more. One, two, three, and a chain. Okay, except the beginning. I made one, two, three, four groups of three double crochets. And next is the center of three groups of three double crochets. I'm going to increase. Uh, I guess you already know how to do when you want to increase. So I don't mention a lot about here. Just making two and two as usual. And a chain one. And repeat four groups of three double crochets again. One, two, three, four. All well, right, I did after increasing one, two, three, four. Here. And I'm going to make a increase. And also I found that the knife clip is easy to handle on this project. I don't know for you, but for me, it's very easy to handle. A chain one. Okay. So let's repeat until the end and after uh, 19 I am use 10 meters and after 20 I'm going to use 11 and just repeat until 22 so after 19 as usual, just make three double crochets in every space, in even in this chain one space in between two and two, like this three. So like this here. You see? Increase, increase, and three doubles, and make three rounds of three double crochet groups and I'm going to make 36 groups of three double crochets and starting with this point is good too 
because、uh, I don't know, I like here to start. This is 920s, and 20 and 21 and 22 is totally the same. So, starting with three doubles, three double crochet stitches. And chain one. And repeat. So, after that, just make three double crochets. And in this round, I also increased six times. So now let's count. Okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 36 now. And repeat two more rounds. 36, 3 double crochets. Well, 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 I finished 22 rounds now. And this is my hat. In summer cotton yarn, and this is my、uh, first bucket hat. It was requested from my daughter, and、uh, compare the size. Oh, it's a little bit wider than the sample. Hmm, and a little bit longer, but it's okay. This hat is a little bit long, and this is a sample of granny. Oh, yes. A little bit wider, but it's okay. I think it's you know, it's okay <laughs> because the, the prototype is a little bit tight. So, when I tie my, tie my hair, I need wider circumference. So, it is okay. Oh, inside out. Oh my god. So messy, tangle, lots of ends. Okay, I'm going to show you how to weave ends. Starting from the center, the center we started with chains, so it is still、uh, quite sturdy and steady. And、uh, we have a short end here. So, threading into the loop of the yarn needle, and I recommend you to tie the end with a single knot like this so that s easy to handle. Okay, going to the same direction, a few more stitches like this, then pick. The inside loop like this. Then turn your s-、uh, going back to the opposite light direction to stack the yarn end and going through a few more stitches. Okay, it's enough. Now I think it is enough. And fasten off. Alright, snip. Okay, the next is the yarn end, and let's follow this method until the last end. Okay, so threading and make a knot. I'm a little bit clumsy, so I'm so sorry. Oh, oh my god. Once again, I, I wish I'm you know, very talented, but I'm clumsy. Sorry. Make a single knot like this. Okay. First, pick the vertical lead in the chains. Like this and tuck the end. Okay, then going back to the opposite direction, 
and threading through here. Then going back to the uh, uh, threading to the one more, you know, lower, you know, or upper, I don't know, to the top, okay. And then make a U turn. So making uh, making turns in many angles, it it is good to you know tuck the end and make it starting and nice and neat. And going back to the starting position and then finish and snip. So repeat this to the end. There are so many yarn ends, you see. And um, maybe you don't like this procedure, but for me, this is a kind of meditation. When I'm weaving and I'm chatting with my family, or I'm watching movies and relaxing and um, taking time, taking time and uh, think something else because I don't have to think anything else. So this is my you know, pleasure, kind of a pleasure. So after before I didn't like but now I love this procedure okay I oh this pouch is so ideal so I'm going to show you how to use it it's a just a simple granny pouch and after finishing your hat fold in half lengthwise and make a fold three three times and open the pouch Maybe I'm going to make a video in the near future. It, this is just uh, ordinary granny stitches, but you know, look different from this. And so, you know, simple and nice and beautiful. And put, put it in because the hat is sometimes, you know, messy in your bag. But if you keep in this kind of pouch, you can carry your uh, hat is nice and tidy and also if you give somebody else this is nice you know uh, option because someone will use it in different way but it's okay because you already give it okay then uh, this is not finished yet I'm thinking I'm I attach the flower motif on it because it is so pretty uh, I don't know which color is good white is good it also or oh, this one is very pretty mm, well 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 but I prefer this one I love this one better and for the option it is good idea to put the put the bottom on the center as an accent and also you can sew the bottom and motif together so you can reduce your time you can save your time so um i'm going to make this procedure also uh, the video about this procedure also, also. so if you would like to watch that videos, please subscribe my channel and set the alarm on. I might make uh, di a few different videos before that, but please forgive me because I have many in you know, a project on my ma in my mind. So, but I love this pouch very much. Tada! Finished, finished, finished. Do you like it? And um, I'm sorry, I talked in Japanese, so I. I after recorded after the filming and this granny hat has a bright color on top and the autumn color on side so and so still so colorful but you know it's uh, it's look like unisex type because I think this is good for the men even not women so we can wear both women or men and if you would like to wear feminine, you can add flower motifs on side. 
so soft and so comfortable under the sunshine. But it's so loose, so maybe if you riding the bike, the head will go somewhere you know, fly somewhere else. So in this case, I recommend you to, you know, uh, so through, so live on through the stitches. Or you can make the braid and tie under the chin, like a bonnet. But if you wear it, you know, in casual, this is very nice and comfortable. And you can enjoy color work. It's so pretty, isn't it? I love this pet and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Bye bye!